The U.S. Navy's M-80 Stiletto experimental test bed ship has successfully finished a six-week demonstration of a CUAS counter unmanned aircraft system solution. The study pitted M-80 Stiletto against drone swarms. The anti-drone system integrated onto Stiletto was the Drone Sentry X manufactured by Australia-based defense contractor Drone Shield. Viewers may note that in their July 2021 newsletter, Drone Shield claims the system tested aboard the Stiletto demonstrated overall detection capability, detection and defeat ranges, on-the-move operation in various sea states, and effectiveness against drone swarms involving a wide range of unmanned robotic threats. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how U.S. Navy's M-80 Stiletto ship armed with Drone Sentry X will swat enemy drones. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The technology of swarming is in which drones, as well as smart munitions, will be deployed in squadrons able to think independently and operate as a pack using artificial intelligence AI. This concept will allow thousands of independent units to act as one and home in on the target in a collaborative fashion. Drone swarm technology is being nurtured by many nations for combat use. In the conflict between Israel and the Palestinian group Hamas earlier this year, the Jewish nation had reportedly deployed drone swarms. As per reports, Israel Defense Forces used drones manufactured by Elbit Systems to perform search and intelligence gathering. The U.S. military is working on several kinds of anti-drone systems, and Drone Sentry X armed M-80 Stiletto is one of them. The M-80 Stiletto is an American prototype naval ship using advanced stealth technologies. The M-80 is produced by American marine engineering contractor the M-Ship Company as an experimental test bed ship for the Pentagon's Office of Force Transformation. It's notable for its innovative pentamarin hull design and advanced carbon fiber composite construction. The 88-foot or 27-meter stiletto's unusual shape and patented M hull provides a stable yet fast platform for mounting electronic surveillance equipment or weapons or for conducting special operations. Its shallow draft means the M80 stiletto can operate in littoral or riverine environments and potentially allows for beach landings. The M80 Stiletto is equipped with four Caterpillar Inc. C32 1232 kilowatt 1652 horsepower engines generating a top speed in excess of 70 miles per hour or 110 kilometers per hour and has a range of 575 miles or 900 kilometers when fully loaded. As per the manufacturer Drone Shield, Drone Sentry X is a cross vehicle compatible automated 360 degree detect and defeat device. 
It's essentially a CUAS, counter unmanned aircraft system, that provides a non-kinetic means to defeat drone threats. Drone Sentry X is claimed to provide 360-degree awareness and protection using integrated sensors to detect and disrupt UAS, moving at any speed, suitable for mobile operations, on-site surveillance, and on-the-move missions. The design has a lot of flexibility. The manufacturer states that the robust compact unit can be mounted on mobile platforms through standard vehicle roof racks. Also, it can be deployed at a fixed site or as a temporary pop-up solution with on-site or remote operator access. Drone Shield states that Drone Sentry X offers users real-time situational awareness and the ability to respond to UAS and threats detected by the system. The system provides a digital control panel and mountable display with which operators control, access, and view real-time data and live map of local UAS activity. Drone Sentry X defeat capabilities can be automatically or manually set to counter and disrupt UAS activity within range. It has a detection range of more than 2 kilometers or 1.2 miles with a disruption range of more than 300 meters. For this latest demonstration, the Drone Sentry X was fitted to M80. It's a reasonably easy integration since the Drone Sentry X has a dimension of 24.9 inches by 24.9 inches by 9.1 inches and weighs only 25.7 kilograms or 56 pounds. The undertaking is made easier as the whole system is placed inside an IP66 rated shell and comes with a digital control panel and display. The exact nature of the drone swarms in these tests is unknown. It was also not revealed how many drones constituted these swarms. The company claims the system uses AI to examine the surrounding radio frequencies and identifies potentially hostile drones. Then it uses non-kinetic jamming to disrupt them. Drone technology has become very advanced and relatively cheap. A swarm of drones armed with explosives has the potential to cause a lot of damage. The conflicts in Iraq and Syria have shown that this kind of capability is within reach of even non-state actors. In January 2018, a mass drone attack was witnessed on Russia's main outposts in Syria, the Kamemim Air Base and the naval base in Tartus. Though the damage from the attack was insignificant as per Russia, it clearly displayed the potential of drones in warfare. Since this event, drones have been used for combat roles many times, including in the recent conflict between Azerbaijan and Armenia. The US Navy itself had to face a drone threat when an Iranian drone came close to USS Boxer and had to be taken down. So, the threat from drone swarms is real, and experiments such as this will go a long way to mitigating this.